everyone, welcome back to Bear, I'm Stephanie. This is going to be video one, decluttering series. So what I'm going to do is show you how I store my hair products per category, then we're going to go through and start decluttering. I've already started putting everything into piles, but now it's time to film. Now it's time to go to my bathroom. Come with me. So this is the first basket, and this basket is all shampoo and conditioner. Travel sizes of conditioners in here. So I've kept it in here, that way it's just easier to pull out. This has the sample packs of shampoos and conditioners that I can actually use on my hair. So before I reach for a full size bottle of something to replenish, I have to pull from this bag first. So these are all deluxe size samples of shampoos. So I have a little basket inside so everything isn't jostling around and they just all different types of shampoos. Here is all conditioners and these are all full sizes. So I have, I know this is a hair mask here. And then these are all the, these are all the conditioners that I can currently use on my hair, all for hydration. So Bumble and Bumble, I have Sebastian, Cream of Nature, and then I have these big bottles back here by Sookin, that's that Australian company that I really like. The reason why I have to separate this is also for my son, and what's great is with him being in PE class and so forth, he comes in this basket and he knows to pull whatever he needs for PE or for gym, he goes ahead and he knows where to pull from, so I always tell him, pull from the samples first before you touch anything in the back. This basket is all styling treatment. What I have on this side here, this is all of my like thermal heat sprays, my Redken pillow proof, and anything I would use to flat iron my hair, my smooth and sexy hair, smooth and seal. So anything for blow drying treatments or thermal protection in a spray liquid version goes right here basket here this is to like here's my hair wax for my edges anything to style in a cream format and I believe I have so I have a couple bumble and bumble items in here I have a living proof styling treatment and then some beach sprays I don't tend to use these very often but my son likes this in his hair for texture so we I've already decluttered the ones that he liked on this side here are my dry shampoos so I have the four just lying right here this is oh this was from Halloween but this is supposed to make your hair this color, gold. So I think my, my son kept that in there. I should toss that because Halloween's over. Okay, so on this side of the basket, okay, I'm going to turn it around. I have a small basket right here, and this has all of my hair oil. So anything argan oil or any type of oils that I want to put on my hair, that won't weigh my hair down goes into this small basket here. Up here in front, I have thermal protection uh, liquid that you put on your hair, and it's actually from a Tude House. This is a Korean uh, protector that I got a few samples of, so I'm going to try that out. Small basket here is hair serums. So you can see I like my hair serums. This is what I apply on my hair after I flat iron it. So I have one from Kenra. I've actually got two bottles. So one full and one that's actually almost empty. And this is my favorite one, actually. This is the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny. And then I have the Bean Sexy by Rusk. So I have a couple of those. I have some sample oils here from Alterna and I think Redken. I just kept the brands that I know that I would use on my hair. Then I have the Invisible Oil from Bumble and Bumble. More Alterna. I really like Alterna's brand. And then I've got my BB cream from Alterna too. Or excuse me, it's a CC cream. This is great. This is um actually the heat protectant spray. So this actually should go, this should go right over here. Because this is all for my heat protection back here. Oh, I've got two of them. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. These actually all sit right in front of a blue basket. They're all products that I kept for my son. So he uses it. So he's using the Redken hairspray. And then he's got an extra hairspray back here. And 
these products right here, these are all like to texturize your hair. So it makes your hair, you know, like crunchy and stick up or you want like a mohawk style. I don't know. He just, he wanted all of these. And then this is his something to make his hair curlier or kinkier, I don't remember. And then these two are my hairspray. I like the Alnet, yeah, these are like travel sizes of the Alnet. Head and decluttered out some items here. I pulled all of these out and these are just like, these are things that I'm not personally gonna use. They are fairly new and um, they're just products that have came in and I'm just, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna touch them. I mean, I remember I got, I kept getting all these bottles of It's a 10 from Ulta because I spent a certain amount of money. So they gave me those for free. I mean, I've just got a bunch of stuff in here that I'm just not gonna use. In this plastic bag, I've already decluttered and this is all stuff that is very old. We're talking like multiple years worth. Have some stuff hasn't even been touched so it's just all gonna go in the trash and it's just multiple stuff multiple shampoos multiple conditioners and styling products some samples some full sizes hairspray back there just not gonna use it and it's it's so old that I just don't feel comfortable giving it to somebody or donating it so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it away this is stuff that I've received and accumulated from my beauty boxes. So Ipsy, Birchbox, BoxyCharm back in the day. Look at all this. It's just, it's so much stuff. And full sizes too. Like this is a full size, full size. Everything's in here. Shampoo, conditioner, lots of styling products, dry shampoo. Just, it's just too much. I'm sick and tired of looking at it. So these two boxes, these are the two boxes that I'm going to say to my friends and family, is there anything in here you want? Anything you want to try? And after they go through and comb through it, then these two boxes are going to my local shelter. And then that clears all of this out of my house. The last box I have to show you is the hair tools. So this box is actually kept in my bathroom. I go into it every day. So I have more baskets in here. This one houses my banana clips and my duckbill clips when I wrap my hair up. And I have my hair tie here. And then I have my detangle brush, my brush I use when I blow dry my hair, a comb back there for when I flat iron, and then my paddle brush. And then this basket has all of my bobby pins, it has my more duckbill clips, just stuff that I use on a routine basis. I would say the only thing to declutter in this box are these hair clips because I don't even use these in my hair. And I still use this when I do a French clip. And so this is only the hair, I only have one hair ornament. And then these are for when I work out, I tie my hair back. And then these are more hair ties. Here's my hair tools. I only have one blow dryer and I'll only have one blow dryer. I only have two flat irons. I do use the black one more. And when I travel, I take the gold one with me. And it's um, it's smaller and more compact than the black. So I travel with this one. And then this is a hair clip. I've actually never used it. It's still tied with the tie around it, the plastic tie. I've never used this hair wand. I guess I should start. I just, you know, I never apply, I never really apply additional heat to my hair and style it. It's always straight. You see in the videos, it's usually always straight. So, um, I don't know, maybe I'll make that as a resolution. I'll start testing this out. It really seemed to me like I'm tossing a lot of products. However, organized as far as everything being organized, that seems to be pretty much down. The system that just works for me, I like to use baskets or boxes, some way to keep everything stored together within categories. When you see it in a category like that, like shampoos and conditioners, styling treatments, whatnot, you'll start to condition your brain 
to actually pull from those particular items and also at a quicker rate. I am determined to use up what I have. That's for me personally, that's the whole idea of decluttering is to try to cut down on what comes into the house and try to focus and use up what's currently in the house. I've got more to come, especially when we hit the makeup categories, brushes, fragrances, foundation, concealers, bra, the list goes on and on. At this point, it's out with the old and in with using the new. I do want to thank you for stopping by and watching today, and I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.